Hello everyone, we are back with Glen Velvet Reviews here, and I just ordered the Ortho Dial and Sprayer from Amazon. Uh, I plan to use this with my Roundup. Um, <clears throat> it says it's good for Ortho products, and Ortho makes weed killer, so I figured I can use um, Roundup weed killer in there. I know it's probably even worse chemical because you know the lawsuits with Roundup for cancer and stuff like that, but uh, I think as long as you. Uh, clean it out really well after each use it's gonna work and it should work I had a sprayer a hose sprayer for acid and um, other people that used it I remember they didn't get that long out of it and I found out the reason was because right after you're done you're supposed to like run regular water through it uh, clean out the container really well otherwise it dries out the uh, plastic and it cracks or it dries out um, you know where, where the gaskets are and then it'll start to leak as well so uh I, so I see if you take care of them you know they last so you should be fine this one comes with a 10-year warranty it says i don't know how that's gonna work i doubt it's really gonna work well but you know but i don't know who, who, ortho's been around for a while so maybe the warranty's good so here's kind of what it is here's what it looks like right here up close okay i think i got this on amazon for 12.97 see extended grip 14 different dial settings okay three spray patterns which is great you could spray it far so you don't have to worry about it getting on you and uh, that's it you just pull this little trigger right here and here's where you set it here's two ounces I'll just go through a couple two and a half ounce three ounce four ounce five and one third of an ounce I don't know how the hell they got that six ounce and eight ounce is the highest so that's really strong and then you could just hit off if you need to do just water um, I'm not sure what it says to use for mine, but this is just like a just an unpackaging review of it that what I'm doing, and then you'll see me actually test it out uh, with the product in my next videos. Um, so yeah, here's the patterns right here that it has. It has these, uh, you know, like a, I guess like a fan. This one comes out circular. This one comes out, um, you know, like a shower head kind of thing. All right. So that's kind of what it looks like. There's a screw over here. I'm not sure what because. It must be for some kind of maintenance or to clean in there because they usually don't put screw uh, screws. You know what I mean? They'll put, um, what's that called? Um, you know, uh, vandal resistant um, screws. You know, uh, the ones that have the weird heads with the pin in the middle. Um, I forgot the name of them. Um, but anyway, uh, they usually put those on there, but they didn't. So that's kind of weird. Comes with a black gasket in there, brand new, which is cool. Little filter in there. It's kind of it's not really it's not a real it's like a little strainer it's not like a real one you know it's not like the metal ones but those those ones clog anyway because when you have hard water it sucks so this one has like a little mini one in there with a little piercing valve or some i don't know what that is okay so yeah that, that's kind of what it looks like all right um two teaspoons two tablespoons four tablespoons you get the gist of it and uh let me see how do you open it oh, so it just screws right off how quick does it come off let me see now you have to do a couple of turns, yeah. So it so it screws off just like um, the Miracle Grow one. So it is a soft. Um, it's a very soft tubing, I guess. Um, mine in my acid uh, sprayer, um, it um, the tubing is made out of like a really hard, hard plastic. You know what I mean? Like really hard. Um, this feels like it can leak. It looks like this is easy to replace, though. You could probably just get this for cheap. Unless this is like special chemical chemical resistant rubber, um, then okay, fine. But I don't think so. It doesn't look like that. Not for twelve dollars either, and I doubt it. But maybe you could just heat this up um, when it gets, um, you know, with a hair dryer. If you don't have a heat gun, a heat, if you don't use a heat gun anyway, because if you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna melt the crap out of it. So um, you can heat it up with a hair dryer a little bit, and then pull it off, and then maybe heat it up and stick it on. Or you use uh, hot water. Put hot water in a um, cup soak it in hot water really well get it nice and you know lubricated up and and uh, mushy and then uh you can either use pliers if you don't get good grip um or you can use like a, a gloves rubber gloves to get good grip to push it on to get a good thing and try to go you know in a turning motion um it's weighted at the bottom has a screen on there so it doesn't get crap sucked up into the head into the sprayer itself and it's kind of like i said it's weighted to make it stay at the bottom some kind of steel hopefully it's pure stainless steel and it doesn't rust um so hopefully they did well by that um had very good reviews but 
when I look at reviews, it's always because of, you know, people putting reviews in the first, like, you know, three months that they had it. And then a year later, not even six months to nine months later, it breaks. And usually people, if it's like 10, 20 bucks, they'll just throw it in the garbage and forget about it. So, you know, that, that's the only thing I saw, you know, I'm, I, um, is that, you know, a lot of people, even people who bought it three years ago, you know, they wrote the review, you know, through, you know, maybe the most three months later and they said it was awesome, but some products you know nine months later they break and if they're cheap and people just forget to go back to the review and stuff like that so hopefully this one lasts and is up to its true word let's hope all right so inside is the instructions in here oh so it has the measurements over here as well so you know how much you're putting in this says a 1000 milliliters 800 milliliters um, since you can't see it, I'll read it off to you. 600 milliliters, 400 and 200. And then this side is ounces. Uh, 32 ounce, uh, 28, and it goes down 24, 20, 16, 12 by fours. Eight, four, and zero. All right, so that's kind of what it looks like. Uh, this is the back of the instructions if you want to know how easy it is to use it. Um, here's the guide for usage set fill spray i mean it seems pretty simple i mean that that's what it looks like um there you go and that's it so um yeah that's it so uh, i'll if you want i'll do a spray pattern i'm not going to do the chemical right now but we'll do a little bit of a review of the spray pattern of it and that's it Okay, so let's go with these spray patterns. I'm just, like I said, spray it out that way. Let me move the carpet. Okay, let me see. Let me just make sure I can stand in the right way. All right, that should be fine. Um, so you, you guys will see the patterns real quick. All right, let's do this. So this is, uh, what's this one? Uh, sorry. This one is the straight, um, it's called the Jet. All right, ready? All right, so that one's the Jet. Uh, as you saw, that's what it sprays out as. Um, that was a little long because I wanted to wash off some dirt, sorry. Uh, here is the, uh, what's this, the flat or fan or whatever you want to call it. See it? That's like that. Let me stand a little bit closer. Okay? That's kind of what this one looks like. All right. And then we got the shower. Oh, I was right on this one. This one was the shower. I called it before. Ready? That's the shower. All right, so that's the shower and that's it. So th that's just a little review on the different uh, sprays that they have. So you guys can have an idea of what you get for $12.97, all right? Um, like I said, uh, you guys will see it in the future. I'm gonna use it with my uh, Roundup. Um, I'm gonna do a review of some new Roundup that I'm gonna try on, um, on all these uh, vines and weeds. I'm gonna get that yellow cap, strong one. Um, and we're going to try it on there next, and we're going to use the ortho to spray it on and hope it kills these babies, because I want to kill all of it. They're starting to go up my tree. They already clobbered that tree. I want to spray it all and kill them. All right? I, I, I just won't spray them on the trees, because I like my trees. But these things are growing like wildfire, and they break in my fence. They're coming through. Break, look, they're breaking the fence. Oh, it's so annoying. I know my fence is old, but it doesn't need to break it for no reason, so it kind of sucks. So, all right. So that's it for uh, Glen Velvet Reviews on the Ortho um, Hose Sprayer, Chemical Sprayer, I guess you can call it. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. I would love to know. Also, subscribe to my channel. Join me on my review adventures as I try to put up stuff to help everybody out and help the community out, just like I get help from the community, and I thank you for that. All right, so everybody enjoy. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Be safe.